what's going on. So I have a couple years experience with uh, purchasing and various pond pressure filters. So I want to go over uh, quickly different models and the pros and cons of each. Uh, so we have brand new Pressure Flow 4000 from Laguna. Um, also have a Polar Aurora 1600 sitting down here. And then I have a Polar Aurora 4000 and a Go Plus Pressure Bio Filter 4000, both over at my other pond. So I'm going to give you the, the prices of each of those and the pros and cons. Here is the Polar Aurora 1600. So that's good for a 1600 gallon pond. If you have fish, you divide that in half, it's good for 800 gallon. Uh, so the pro, the pro is, hey, I only paid 97 bucks for this back in August of 2019. It's now 150, so uh, it's one of the less expensive models that you could buy, uh, but plenty of negatives. Um, one, very hard to maintain, so you gotta pop this out of the, uh, the box there and uh, get a hose and try to hose out all those different layers of, of filter in there. Uh, so it's not very easy to maintain. This busted on me after just one year. That's the, the valve that uh, sends the water back into the pond versus an outlet uh, to backwash. So that broke on me. Another one, whenever you go to uh, clean it, the filters, the filters there with a hose, uh, water will get in there because the seal isn't very good. And so you can see some, some water in there now. And what it does is it ends up tripping your breaker because of the electrical components in there. Another major con. So this only works for about one year and then it's, it doesn't work anymore. And I figured out the reason. It's because the, uh, the glass in there gets so filled of algae and crud on the inside that it deems the... Uh, UV filter uh, ineffective because you can't take this out and uh, that tube in there out and clean it. Um, if you want to replace the bulb, you can. Uh, you just search for a 13 watt uh, bulb on Amazon and this unit here that I have right in front of the camera that uh, goes in and out. Um, so you can replace the bulb, but again, after one year, it's meaningless because of all the crud that builds up on, on there. Uh, finally, uh, the nozzle hoses on here are just ridiculous. So you always want to buy a pump uh, that runs an inch and a half line on it. And whenever you get these valves, you have to take a saw and cut off the smaller valves on the outside. That way you're getting your full efficiency out of your pump. But then that leaves not enough leverage for you to put the inch and a half uh, hose back on the, the nozzle here um, and they made the diameter the exact same diameter as this so I actually had to take sandpaper and sand around the outside in order to fit that over top of there then you'll so over here in my pond my bigger pond I'm running a go plus pressure biofilter 4000 and a polar aurora 4000 the same exact model so the uh, it's good for you again for 4000 divide that in half if you uh, have fish down to 2,000. Obviously, this is a bigger than the 2,000 gallon pond, so I got two of them running. Um, what I do is I run that skimmer basket there. Uh, I run the water down through the skimmer basket through two layers of filter fabric before it even gets into the filter to help uh, with uh, the, the pond water quality. So I do have pretty good water quality there. Filters, I keep them under here due to what I have told you on the other model. Water will get inside here where the UV filter is and it'll actually trip the breaker. Pros, again, this is a very cost effective. Uh, I paid $90 uh, for the one back in December 2019. Now it's $180. Um, and I paid $140 uh, for the other one uh, back last year. They're both working. I can't guarantee that the UV filter is, is working again due to what I told you on the last one. Uh, eventually that you just can't go in there and clean the glass out. Um, so I'm not, can't guarantee that, uh, that the UV filter is working. Whenever you first plug it in, man, it cleans the water right up crystal clear. But after about one year, regardless if you replace the bulb or not, I'd deem them uh, ineffective. So here's another example. So you got to go and uh, saw this out. Otherwise we're restricting flow from the pump and you can't get the, uh, the inch and a half hose onto the thing. It's very tough. I had to go in there and sand them. So and pressure flow 4,000. All right, here's my review. 
so the ne a negative is hey a lot more expensive. This is four hundred and sixty dollars compared to I was paying a uh, hundred bucks for the other filters, which are now around one hundred fifty dollar range. So this is a little bit more expensive. Uh, it did clean the pond up within one day. I'll put a uh, before photo uh, up right after this one. Uh, so that is uh, a positive. It does work. Negative. Again, you got to be kidding me, companies. Come on, you're for. So this is for a, a four thousand gallon pond. You're not going to be running a pump with a, a three quarter inch hose on it. Send a dang uh, nozzle that's built for inch and a half uh, tubing. So what you got to do again is take a, a saw and saw these uh, other branches of the nozzle off uh, in order that you're not restricting your pump. Um, another negative, uh, so they did not make it very user friendly. I actually couldn't use the nozzle that they, g they gave me because it, it uh, leaked because you got to run inch and a half. It comes, yeah, I got to run the, the pipe way up to here. Um, so it, it makes no sense at all. So you got to run your hosing. You don't even use the nozzle. You got to run your hosing over the top and they have these slots in there. So it was very hard to get the hose over top of this without uh, the filter leaking. Um, it does have handles on here that you push up and down to try to get the, the muck off whenever you uh, want to clean your pond. This is the release tube here. Um, I'm not guaranteed that they're going to work very well. I did see a, a company YouTube video on it that says, hey, you still need to take it out uh, and, and clean it down with a hose a couple times a year. The good news on this one, I'm not going to take it apart now. It's all just one filter fabric, so it's a lot uh, easier to maintain uh, to, to hose the, the, the guck off uh, with a hose. Um, another bonus, this is a 36 watt bulb in here versus the what, 13 watt I think I said on the other ones. All right, here's the Laguna 4000. Just hooked it up. So the reason for this uh, clip here is want to see if it cleans the water up. The water ain't, isn't too bad. Uh, but let's see what it looks like in a couple days. All right, so one day after installing the new filter, uh, the water cleared up. I could see the bottom. It's crystal clear. You may not be able to see it in the video, but uh, very clear water. So within one day, it, it works. And probably you know, the, the, the bacteria balls at the bottom of it probably aren't fully activated yet. So.